I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have to do this. One of the great icons, and I, I don't use that word loosely, of Oxford Street. He hasn't been particularly well lately. He has kept this street alive. He is an absolute darling of a man, an icon, and I would like him to come up onto the stage. I would like you to give Polly Petrie a massive round of applause. I went through hard times, but I was a celebrity, so it's all fabulous. We had mega stars come to Capriccio's. You know, but there was always a danger that the cops picked me up and threw me into that cop drop over there. Thanks to John O'Donnell, she left money there too, but I'll help people get out of that cop shop over there. But today, I, um, I went to Capriccio's. I went to uh, the Aubrey Hotel. I worked at the Venus Room. I worked everywhere in Oxford Street. And today I feel, I went through the hard times. But today I feel the youth of today is free to live their life. <laughs> and not go through the hardships that I went through. And the gay community, when I was 45 years younger, and it's just a celebration. I'm a bit emotional, sorry, but I feel for the young kids today, a celebrity. They can be themselves and not go through what we had to go through. All right. So here, today is a celebration for the year to tomorrow. Ahoy, ahoy! Thanks, Polly. Go and be with your friends. We just love you so much. What a man. Anyone that's been to Stonewall, anywhere on Oxford Street, we love Polly Petrie, don't we? We adore him. <laughs> <laughs>